much does it do to cost? Do you really want to know? Okay, I warned you! Please be prepared to break the bank. That wasn't weird, right? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Ashley. I'm a TV news reporter, a voice actress, and entrepreneur. But I've also got a new title, and that is Mini Golden Doodle Dog Mama. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The most common question I get across the board is 100% how much did you spend on your mini golden doodle? And it's like really intense always. People are always like, tell me, tell me, tell me! Okay, okay. But I think it's important to not only inform you on the initial cost of getting a mini golden doodle, also the ongoing ones. So guys, I did all the hard work for you and I have broken down an entire game plan just for you and I've included it in the Excel sheet in the links below in my description. So be sure to check that out, as well as some of Luca's favorite products and some of the things that you just don't need. Don't listen to those people out there that are trying to make you spend thousands and thousands of extra dollars. You don't need to. Okay, so I'm gonna break down the initial cost of getting your mini golden doodle and those ongoing costs. This has been one of the most fun things I've been doing. It is my mini golden doodle journey. No, I'm not a trainer or a veterinarian, although they are very helpful on here as well. But I am a real life human, giving you the experience of what it's like to get a mini golden doodle. And I'm just trying to save you time, energy, and money over here. So if you like my content, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I upload weekly on Saturdays. And of course, I'm doing monthly pup dates on my little baby. Baby. His name is Luca Alberto. Yes, he is Italiano, and yes, he was named after a Disney movie because hashtag of course. All right, let's start with the initial cost. How much does your mini golden doodle actually cost? Well, so many factors are dependent on this. One, where you live. Two, what type of breeder is it? Three, is the breeder reputable? Four, what type of doodle do you want? Do you want a doodle? Do you want a mini? Do you want a teacup? Do you want an F1, which is the kind of original from a golden retriever and a poodle mixed? Do you want what Luca is? Luca, Luca. Or you can get a little Luca bear and his mom and dad were already little doodles. So combined together, he's now a mini golden doodle. You want a Luca, trust me. Mini golden doodles, depending on all those factors, can range greatly in price. So definitely do your research in your area. You might also want to expand your research to other areas, honestly, because it might be cheaper that way. But you definitely wanna go with a reputable breeder. So where we live in Ohio, the average range for a mini golden doodle is about $2,000. And again, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a reputable breeder, make sure you're not getting those Craigslist puppy mill type of shady junk. Don't do that. This is your furry friend forever and get a good one. In places that I've seen, even like places like Missouri, Los Angeles, they're going for six to eight thousand dollars. So what you might want to do if you live in other parts of the country or other parts of the world, look at places like Ohio, like Michigan, where they might be a little bit more affordable and think about the cost of travel, obviously, when you factor those in. So plan for at least two grand for your initial mini golden doodle. This is Alan. Alan, were you surprised at the cost of a mini golden doodle? No, but why are you British? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of a specialty breed. It's very, very popular and supply and demand kind of, no. I mean, they range, there's a big window for them. So it just depends on your breed purity and all that whatnot. Perfect, back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> All right, folks, second biggest expense is the pet visits, healthcare, vaccinations. This is going to be somewhat hefty your first year. So my vet said budget in about $1,000 for all those, you know, checkups, getting their rabies shot, lepto, bordetella, all those fun things. But then also you have to factor in their spaying and neutering, which might fall into that $1,000 category. I would say budget between $1,000 and $2,000. Spaying and neutering can fall anywhere between $200 and $700. So definitely think about that when you're getting your mini golden doctor. It's also a good thing to, you know, budget in about $1,000 just in case they have any emergency surgeries, little rainy day doodle fund. Have I scared you away yet from the dark and golden doodle? Oh, goody! Next big expense. 
I am a human, I am not a dog. Yes, I'm talking about food. Everyone has their own preference on food. Experts recommend that you are going to be spending around four to $500 for food for your dog each year, all dependent on what kind of food you get. We stuck with the same food as the breeder. I explained this more in our three month pup date. You can go ahead and click here and check that out if you wanna follow along on Luca's journey. But a 30 pound bag of his original food, which is Nutrisource, the puppy kind, was about 70 bucks on Amazon. I'll link that below. Luca is obsessed with it, guys. Luca is just the best dog in the world. And I highly recommend this for mini golden doodles. It's very good for that particular breed. You just add in a little water. Luca loves it that way. You, he doesn't need any other kind of food right now. We also have not gone through a lot of his food at all. So I'm predicting that this bag is going to last us at least three months. So I think our food budget is actually going to be a lot cheaper than the 500. I think it's gonna be closer to 300, but definitely about the third biggest expense that you'll have. This is an optional expense, whether you live in a house or an apartment complex. We live in an apartment complex, so we do have to pay one of those, you know, initial pet fees. Our initial pet fee is $350. Some are, you know, thousands of dollars. So definitely Definitely check with your complex if you live in a complex before you purchase your little furry friend. And then you wanna see what the monthly ongoing fee is. So ours is $40 monthly. So you just add that into your budget. Now it's time for grooming. Yes, your dog obviously needs to be groomed and they have that beautiful coat that is so curly and just so cute. And really to cut costs on grooming, literally just brush your dog. Our dog loves being brushed. It's like one of his favorite things. So I think if you do this early on, you'll, you're gonna end up saving a lot of money on grooming. Grooming experts say to take them grooming six to eight weeks, every six to eight weeks. So something to consider. I also would get a pair of little, um, little clippings, little, clippings, little scissors to clip around their eyes. Cause that's where you see that Luca has a lot of hair and that clouds his vision. Groomer prices all depend on where you live. In our area, that can range anywhere from 50 to $100. So you might wanna budget in around three to $500 for grooming a year, but it really is all your preference. Now let's talk boarding and daycare. Yes, I was a cheerleader. No, that was gross. I hated, I hated, I hated it as much as you did, believe me. All right, so what's really interesting about this breed is, you're not gonna wanna get this dog if you're gone for eight plus hours a day. It's just, we'll get more into that in another video, but let's talk the options of boarding and daycare. Boarding obviously varies upon your area as well. This can range from 50 to $100 for day and night. Now in our area, it's actually only about 25 each night, and this is an average in Ohio but daycare ends up being about 15 to $20 a day. So this could be a great option if you just wanna take your dog to daycare a couple times a week, you might wanna budget in 25 to $100 a week, depending on how long you wanna take them to daycare. What's really great side note about daycare for your puppies is that a lot of them have really early and really late hours because it is literally for the walking woman and man. And so a daycare that we are probably going to use when we absolutely need to is um, open from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. at night. So how cool is that? We have not had to use this yet, but it's definitely a great option. Something to also keep in mind is that if you do wanna board your dogs, definitely build that relationship with that place ahead of time. A lot of boarders will say that they actually give preferential treatment to the daycare customers. So even if you don't need to do doggy daycare, maybe do it a couple times at least before you know you're taking that big trip to Italy in the hot travel month of summer where everyone wants to board their dog. Now is my favorite part, which is all of the fun little trinkets to get your dog and also obviously their bedding and sleeping and all of that jazz. So first, we're gonna get serious right now and we're gonna talk sleeping. And why I'm so serious about this is because I cannot believe there are so many people on YouTube telling you to get 400, $800,000 crates. That, my friends, is ridiculous. Yes, this is the elder wand. Of course it is. No offense. These trainers obviously know a lot of what they're talking about. I am telling you from a person on a budget that doesn't wanna waste $1,000 on a metal crate, 
is that you definitely don't need to do that. And here's a little tip on how to save money on crates. So we have a crate off of Amazon, link below, with a divider. Why I really recommend this is because the crate itself, 30 inch crate, was only 40 bucks, and it's like you're getting two, three crates in one, because you just moved the divider over. So it's really amazing. Um, we were able to make it really small, and because it's like a baby, and then make it bigger as uh, he got bigger. So for a crate and a little crate bed, you could budget anywhere between 50 and $1,000, but you don't need to spend that much. Honestly, keep your budget to about $100 and use my links below. Thank you. All right, you're gonna want a collar, a harness, a leash, and poop bags. You can get those off of Amazon. You can also get your collars at a local pet shop or Target or Walmart. Um, I would budget around about $50 for all of those things. Order your poop bags off of Amazon. They're a lot cheaper. They come in big bulks of about 600, about $50. That's it, about $50. And now a message from our sponsor. Hi, my name's Luca. Subscribe to the channel. Good job, baby, good job. When it comes to training, you are probably going to want to get your dog into some training socialization classes. You can go ahead and take them to an overnight camp. That is going to literally be around to three thousand dollars you know where you take your dog away for a week or two we're not doing that we want to be a part of the training process with luca and we have time to so we love being a part of luca's training process we're doing bell training and crate training more on that in my three month pup date definitely check that out if you want to check out training classes those range anywhere from fifty dollars to 150 dollars a class that's all dependent on your budget. You wanna do five classes? Okay, probably around 500 bucks. But you also don't need to do training classes, but they are a great way to socialize your pets too. Now when it comes to all the fun little toys and bones and sweaters and all those fun things, if you liked buying your school supplies, you are going to love this. Honestly, start with a little bundle kit off of Amazon for your toys. Don't get your toys at a pet store, way too expensive. You can get a bundle off Amazon for like 15 bucks, link below, versus spending like literally 10, $15 for a single toy. Then you can really get a feel for if, well, like which toys your dog likes. Luca likes the squeaky ones and the crunchy ones. And then for your bones, definitely invest in those high quality bones. We get ours from Devil Dog Petco. Those are naturally shed elk antlers and yak chews. Highly, highly recommend. Also have that in the link below too. Sweaters, honestly, if he's a little baby and it's cold outside, I would say get your dog a sweater. I mean, I mean look at, look at Luca. He's that cost me about 30 bucks for two sweaters on Amazon. Hashtag worth it, hashtag no regrets. So I hope I haven't scared you guys away from getting a mini golden doodle. Actually, I hope I inspired you to. I would budget around $4,000 your first year, if not four to $6,000. But again, that's just your first year. Obviously it's an investment. This is your furry friend for life. People spend upwards of $50,000 to adopt a child. So when you think about spending just a couple thousand to adopt, another child, your little furry friend for life, then in my opinion, it's worth it. It's all about priorities. I absolutely love the mini golden doodle breed. I couldn't speak highly of them enough. And I love meeting all my little doodle friends on the internet. So please let me know what other questions you have about the mini golden doodle breed and about our Luca journey. And definitely stay tuned um, for favorites this holiday season and also Luca's four month pup date coming any day now. Thank you guys so much for following along on the journey. Let me know what questions you have in the comments below and let me know what did I miss? What's something that we should be investing in that we're, we haven't yet? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications bell. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, totally. Do we like this British character?